rockfish, troll them for salmon sometimes, and they don't always go down that well. So we save them for dinner. We're gonna keep this one and do a catch and cook. And we're gonna roast it over the fire. Stick around, because we're gonna cook this one up on a stick. Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. We're out here in Eucalypt with my three daughters and we're at the Little Creek Cabins. So you can check it out if you're interested. We're staying here for the first time. And we're out fishing today. It was a little bouncy. We got one nice Chinook. Maybe I'll show you in this video, maybe not. But we also kept a rockfish for dinner. And we are going to catch and cook it for you guys over the fire. Something we haven't really done before, but we've seen a bunch of other people do it. So we thought, hey, let's try it out. So we found a nice piece of alder wood. Alder is a good word, uh, wood to smoke meats on, and it's safe to use uh, with meats cooking over a fire. You want to stay away from the poisonous ones, right? Okay, so let's uh, prepare my fish. I've already got it gutted. I'm going to scale it, cut it up, season it. We'll spear it on here and put it over the fire and cook away. Let's see how it turns out. Okay. So there's our little blue rockfish. It looks smaller and smaller after I kept it. That's about a 12, 13 inch blue rockfish caught it trolling for the salmon. So we decided since we're gonna do this cook, catch and cook, might be better to have a small one because it'll cook faster uh, over the fire. So we're gonna leave it whole with the head on and somehow we're gonna spear it probably through the head and through the tail. And we're gonna season it. It's really easy. Scaling you just use any knife and you go from the tail to the head Like that you see the scales just come off really nicely and uh, If you're doing over the fire you and it gets a nice crispy skin you can't eat the skin so So you might as well scale it Get all the scales off and then we'll rinse them off do some slices In the meat and then we'll season it up nice and then we'll cook it over the fire whole We'll see how this one tastes. I, I don't know if I've ever eaten a blue rockfish. I used to always let them go because they're a little on the smaller side. Used to keep the blacks and vermilions. And that's, that's the kind I would keep because they're usually bigger copper rockfish. Those ones rather than the blues because blues are cool. Usually lots of them around. Easy to catch but they're not, not quite as big. So but this is the first one, so there you go. All scaled. You can see like that. If you run the knife the other way, it gets its color back. But that's how you know it's all scaled. It's got all the scales off. Now you're gonna rinse all the scales off because they're not very nice to eat. So you gotta rinse it off really well, okay? Okay, so now I've got it rinsed off and I've got it all scaled nicely. Flip my piece of wood over so I got a clean side. And all I have in the cabin is salt and pepper, but for fish, usually all you need is salt and pepper and that's about it. So I'm gonna make some slices in it um, to get the flavor in. So just cut it like here, here, here about an inch or two apart down the fish. And then you flip it over and you do the same. Make those slices, make those cuts in the fish and then that'll get nice flavor in there. Man, that looks nice fish, huh? Nice white flesh. Yep. Okay, excellent. If you bleed your fish, you'll get nicer quality fish. And now what's this one? Salt or pepper? We're going to find out. Salt. Okay, nice, nice salt. we going to salt the whole fish and then we'll do the inside cavity actually. We hold those open a little bit. Hold them open. Oh, I'll... that feels weird. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's fish. Yeah. No, when you're okay. trying to salt them. Now let's put pepper in then. Okay. Like crispy. Here, you want to do some pepper? Spin it. Oh, not too much. Get up here. 
down the bottom. This side, here I'll hold it open nicely. And you guys, look at that. If I flex the fish like that, you got a really nice opening to do the seasoning. You gotta go all over here, not in one spot. But Callie's not. Okay, move Callie. Let's see her do it. Okay, good. So we got our fish all seasoned nicely like that. Now we're gonna skewer it on the stick. Okay, so we've got our stick now. We're gonna skewer the fish on here. But first, if you, you can sharpen your stick, but probably if you're putting it thin enough to put through the fish, you're gonna break your stick. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hole right through the tail right here, just so that it can go through nice and easy at the end because I think I'll put it through the mouth first and then out the tail and then we'll put it over the fire so let's open his mouth up <laughs> That's hard. he's got a little bit of rigor mortis we'll put it up like this and we'll curl the tail like this I got a little bend in my stick see that so it goes through just nice so I don't have to break my stick while putting the fish on there you go and if you want to have a less chance of a bitter taste from the wood just peel the bark off before you put it on the wood and then you'll get a better better taste so now I'm gonna put this part of the wood of the fish up on the other side so that it's nice and open just like that we got it open it's gonna hang nicely over the fire and uh, let's see how long it takes to cook we're gonna set it up and we'll give you shots as we go along never done this but it looks actually pretty tasty There we go. We got it rigged. We just put a log beside the fire, a couple pieces of wood, and hung it over the fire. Now we probably need it a little hotter up here, so I'm gonna stack a couple more, maybe a little bit more wood to get it a little hotter and cook it up. Hey guys, we had a little change up because our tail broke, so we skewered it through the mouth right down the body. Looks like it's cooking pretty nicely. Oh yeah. Sizzle. We should try to rotate him a little bit. Oh yeah, it'll rotate. Look at that. He's looking like he's had better days. <laughs> you thought that was funny? They still find their dad humorous. That won't last forever. Right? Whoa. Whoa. My stick went through. Well, it's good. It's good there still. Like okay. I think our fish is all done here. Good to prop it up. Okay. All nice and cooked. Get rid of our stabilization logs. Look at that. Looks done for me. And delicious. Look at that. Just line it off the stick. Oh yeah. Look at that. We'll save the stick for another fish. Nice and crispy. We got a fancy fancy plate here. We're gonna dig in, give it a taste. Oh man, look at that. Nice white meat. Plates right off the bone. You guys want to try some? Mmm. Oh look, the baby's in here. Mmm. Oh man. I forgot to taste the skin cap. That has the seasoning on it. It's hot, baby. You want to see me? Maybe here. It tastes like salmon. It tastes like salmon. 
This is better than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. You too, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Just so you can tell Uncle. Yeah. Take mm -hmm. a video of me. So believe me. It's on the video right there. Mm -hmm. You can show him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> it's really slimy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like you're eating slime. Good for you, Callie. Let's see here. There's another one. <laughs> That, that big That's the head thing. Mm -hmm, the this, head. So this spine. And this head. This is the head. So those it's would be like the a eyes. Thin thing. Mouth. It's done, babe. Oh no. What? Oh, she just stuffed the head in her mouth. You can't eat that. That's bones, baby. There's no more meat on there. <laughs>